Hey traders, uh, happy weekend to everybody. Uh, listen, I want to give you a bit of a story of a bit more about me and my background and my what I'm doing here um, and and my life and what got me what what helps me with my trading every single day. Because here's the thing, right? Trading is a difficult process, right? Like you may be trading well for a while, but then suddenly what happens, right? Your ego kicks in and you start to deviate from a plan. You start to have some losing trades. But I did the same thing, right? And like you know, through the year, I might have maybe twenty maybe 30% of the time that I let my ego get involved and I take trades, I shouldn't, right? It's a natural natural form of process, right? But I want to sort of, if you've, if you've had a tough year this year, I want, I want to do this for you, okay? Um, Because um, this morning for me anyway, as you can see on this screen here, I've just been going through some screenshots. You can see here I've got 360 different screenshots that I've put together for myself this year. Um, I always take screenshots of trades. And the reason why I do this is because one thing that helps me with my personal trading is one thing I've learned when it comes to trading the markets, right? Is knowing how to identify good trading opportunities in the markets when they come around. And the first thing for that for me is I want to know what am I actually even looking for in the first place, right? What do I actually, what am I looking for in the market in the first place? Um, because when I first started trading the markets, I'm sure you guys know, right? Um, Again, for me, it's right now, it's Sunday morning for me right now, and I've just been thinking about my trading this year, and you know, there's been many times I've screwed up, guys. I'm not perfect, right? Um, but uh, I'm having a really good, phenomenal year this year, and you want if you actually want to see my equity curve this year, guys, uh, if you go to getjohnshop.com over there, which is an application to my coaching program, I've got two spots left for that, but you'll be able to actually see my real equity curve for this year. So I'm having a phenomenal year. But it hasn't, but it wasn't always like that, right? But I'm trying to give you guys a bit of a behind the scenes look of some things that can really help you out, right? Because when I first started trading the markets 20 years ago, I come from a landscape gardening background, right? My father owned a landscape gardening business. And so I knew how to, you know, dig lawns out with a hoe and a wheelbarrow and a rake and a shovel and sprinkler systems. And back in those days, it was rockeries. Um, if you guys know the rockeries, right? Um, and so back in those days, like that's what I grew up from. And I always grew up of, if I want to make money, I've got to work labor, right? And I also wanted to work, I also, the laboring for me was when I, when I growing, when I was growing up, I always found school hard for me. And one of my, my younger son, uh, Bailey, he's really, really the same. He like, he just hates school and I can just see, he's just like, this is boring. I, I can see that. He really reminds me a lot of me. Uh, going to school, right? I just I, I was always lab I was labeled ADHD because I couldn't sit still. The reason why I couldn't sit still is because it's just I hated school, right? For some reason, I just hated school. Um, so leaving school, my only sort of qualification was laboring, right? It was working for my father, then it was doing laboring jobs and you know um, and stuff like that. And you know, there came a time where my background was there came a time where I got five brothers two sisters. Right, so seven brothers and sisters, mum and dad, um, and my dad owned his own, owned, his, owned his own business. And there came a time there where um, my mum, we actually, my dad lost his house because the high interest rates happened. There was a high, there was a um, here in Australia, there was a thing called a home fund where interest rates went to eighteen percent. My dad lost his house, and because he's got like five brothers, you know, seven kids, mum and dad, so that's nine people all together. How's he going to take care of the family? And so we had to go live in a so give it live in a government assisted house, and it was, it was at that time that my mum started hanging around the wrong people, uh, which is such a big thing, right? If you want to become a good trader, guys, you want to become good at anything, right? And that's why, I like, when it comes to my coaching program, I have a tight community where you're with me every single day and a, and a nice, good, tight group. Um, that way you can be hanging around people who are on the same mission, right? On the same guidance there, you know? But there came a time, came a point in time when my dad would work really hard, but my mum ended up stealing all this money from my dad, forging checks and doing drugs. And, you know, our whole family got split up. Half our brothers and sisters, or our, our brothers and sisters went to our grandparents. Mum went to rehab. Dad was by himself for a while. Um, and everything just got cut off. And we actually lived like that for a good couple of years while waiting for mum to get good out of rehab. And and we end up coming back together after a period of time, after a good few years. But, you know, that was where I grew up from, right? So that's, that's the background. And then having this 
labeled ADHD. So the purpose of me bringing that story up for you is that when I trade these markets, when I show you these markets now, I entered these markets um, 20 years ago. I entered these markets um, not knowing anything, right? It's like, what even is a stock? Like my dad was always talking about property, right? Property, 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 buy property, buy property. And the biggest thing for me was that I understood the property thing, right? Buy it, hold it for 10 years, maybe 20, right? That's your retirement plan. You can make a lot of money by buying buy property. But I'm like, I wanna, I wanna do well now. I wanna do well today, this year. I wanna do well now, so I don't have to work. And that was always my thing, right? That's why I gravitated to the actual stock market because I realized I can find some opportunities throughout the year that, you know, if I once I get good at this thing, I could make more money in one really good trade that I make entire year laboring at a job or working for my father or, you know, back in those days, I tried everything. I tried pickpacking, I tried, you know, actually I had a really big falling out with my father. Um, so I went and tried all these different jobs and I was a car detailer for a while. I was a lollipop, you know, the stop go person and traffic controller and get up at three o'clock in the morning to stack toilet papers on, on in factories and stuff like that. Cause I just, you know, I was just doing anything just to try to get ahead. So the reason why I bring that up for you guys, that story is because when I enter these markets and some of you guys, if you've been in the markets, if you've been trading the markets now for less than five years, I can understand that. You're just trying to just trying to learn everything, right? You're just trying to learn everything because you don't you don't know, right? You're like, and you go down this big sort of funnel or this big rabbit hole of what do I even focus on, right? What do I focus on, like, and what is the stock market, and what is the chart, and what's what are these what are these bars on the chart, and what's these candlesticks, and what's these moving averages, and the small bars and the big bars and what does that mean and oh there's a big up bar and a big down bar and you know and then I can start to look at different patterns like pennants and flags and reversal patterns and you know and, and divergence and trend analysis and all this sort of stuff and then you start to go down the rabbit hole of looking at all these different indicators like oh these are indicators oh my goodness they're so good right and you look at the VWAPs and the stochastics and MACDs and William percent R's and and you start to look at Fibonacci's and you start to look at Elliott waves and you start to go down this rabbit hole as well too, right? Because you, st because it's, and it's not your fault, right? It really isn't your fault. Because I went down the same thing as well too, right? For my first five years, I went down this big sort of rabbit hole of just trying to learn as much as I could about this thing called the stock market or trading the market in general. Um, and so the, the thing that ended up happening for me was that one of the things that I've learned throughout my time and the reason why I'm bringing up what I'm bringing up now, I want, firstly, I want to share with you guys that if you are going through a bit of a hard time with your personal trading, then just don't give up, right? Don't give up. It took me probably a good five plus years to get, to get a good understanding of, okay, this is what I need to start doing. It took me probably a good decade, a decade. My, I've been trading markets for 20 years. It took me probably 20, took me probably 10 years to start to get some sort of traction out of the markets, like some sort of good traction, right? And it's only been really the last five years, I would say, that I've really gained a lot of momentum out of the last 20 years. And the reason why is because my own wrong thinking, my own wrong approaches with these markets, like I just, I wanted to do really well, right? But I realized my mindset, my thinking, my emotional management, and all these things were keeping me down the wrong path. Um, and again, guys, like I, I do really well now, but that's what I try to do when it comes to my videos, when it comes to my coaching program. I try to take what's taken me 20 years to figure out, like what's the right thinking? How do I, what's the right management and, and the setups and all that sort of stuff, right? And again, if you go to getjohnshelp.com, one, you can apply for my coaching program if you need some help for 2025, because it's a one year coaching program. But two, you'll be able to actually see testimonials, you'll be able to even see my real equity curve this year, right? Um, but again, I'm not saying that you want to do this here, I'm just trying to show you that that's, that's my real equity curve. But one of the big things I always come back to, and the reason why I'm sharing this screen with you here, is the reason why, what I have found when it comes to the simplification of the markets is this. And this is one thing I've, one of the biggest things that, has, that helps me come back to, okay, if I want to do really well out of trading every single year, I realize that there are certain patterns, certain setups that when they form, there's a good high probability I'm gonna generate a profit from that trade. Makes sense, right? So 
Um, now the thing is, is like learning what that we're learning firstly, we're learning what the actual setup is, okay? But then also having multiple different screenshots, and that's the reason why I have all these different screenshots here, as you can see, by looking at these levels here, is because when you start to really hone down your trading into maybe one type of really good setup, all right, maybe a couple of different setups, all right? But I trade only one, I only, I only trade one type of main setup. It's moving averages, right? And it's, it's the moving average, and it's also, um, you know, it's also the chart, right? So one thing that I've found through my trading through all this year, through all my time, is that I just realized that, and again, this is through so many years, I would struggle with my trading, right? And one of the reasons why I struggle with my trading because um, I had no good solid foundation behind my tra behind my trading, and I struggled and I struggled and I struggled and I struggled, and I just wanted to make money. But because I wanted to make money, I was looking for any anything that looked like it could make me a profit, right? Instead of me looking for that setup that I know it's likely to make me a profit, I'm just looking for anything that looks like it's gonna make money. You see what I'm saying there, right? And so one of the best things that I always do for my own personal trading, and that's the reason why I have all these different all these different screenshots here, and I just go through dozens and dozens and dozens of examples of screenshots of what I'm looking at here. Um, well, there you go there, right? Um, so actually, let me put that down. That's actually pretty cool. I didn't realize that. Um, let me put that up through there. All right, okay, cool. All right, so the, one of the reasons why um, uh, I just found with my own personal trading, right, is that I've just found that that if you can really hone down on exactly what does a high quality setup look like, right, and then the whole thing about that is taking time to to take screenshots of that exact setup but across multiple different stocks or whatever you like to use, right? So these are the, every single one of these, this one here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and then even 14 with all these different screenshots. All of these here are from completely different markets. So some of them are Forex trades, some of them are stock trades, or this screenshot here, a lot of them are futures trades, like looking at the hourly charts, and a lot of these trades are looking at daily charts, right? Daily charts, all these here, or most of these trades charts here, are daily charts. Because what I like to do with my own personal trading is I like to find opportunities that I can get in today, right? Instead of me spending six hours looking at the market, I can spend a few hours or maybe an hour and then trade that way, right? But the purpose of me saying this here is one of the things that really has helped me bring back to the art of trading is I've just learned that there are similar there, there are certain patterns that when they form they like to do really well then what I do is I like to take screenshots across all these different stocks different markets of that same setup and what that does it builds confidence within me so then I can look at these I can look at example after example after example after example after example after example right of the same setup but across different markets it could be an hourly Forex or futures chart. It could be an hourly, you know, it could be a daily, you know, um, whatever, right? crypto chart. It could be a daily, um, you know, stock chart. So one thing that I've found that really helps me, and the reason why I'm doing this right now, uh, this video for you is because I really want to sort of bring you back to like, after everything I went through with my own background, I realized that in order for me to do really well, all I have to do really when it comes down to simplification is that one, understand a really good simple setup that's likely to make you profit. Two, understand exactly what that looks like on the chart. And three, have hundreds of examples of that. So when you're going through it, you go through example after 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 example. See what I'm saying here, right? Like, and this is where like all these different ones are here, right? So for example, these screenshots that I've taken here, this one is Zillow Group, right? The Zillow Group. This one here is PLTR. These are different stocks. APP. Uh, this is a GLD. This is a trade that I took just recently on GLD. Um, really nice profit. Uh, this one here was CCL. This one here gave me a really nice profit. I think GLD gave me 
a 50% return because I like to use options on this one here. Um, this CCO trade that I did recently as well too, I think that gave me, I think a 70% profit, I think it was. I'm not exactly sure, but it was still a nice profit on this one here. And you got NVIDIA here, uh, you have CLS, KMI, uh, YPF, uh, that happened just at, actually at the start of this month as well too. November, it's actually still going right now. Uh, these are some trades that I've taken in the past, right? But they're more bearish trades. A lot of these trades were bullish trades, but the exact same thing, but flipped upside down. And again, I'm not gonna go into too much of the actual story, the, the whole system here, because that takes a bit of time. Right, if you want to learn that, you can get access to my Master Trader Lab or I can grab access to all the details are linked in the description there. Or if you want to guys, once you apply for my coaching program, getjohntop.com, on the very next page, the thank you page, uh, there's actually a video there that goes for like an hour that walks you through this system if you want to learn more about the actual system. But as you can see, it's like, there's, one of the things I've learned is that it's just a really simple pattern that if I can just wait for these things to come around, and even myself, right, one of the big mistakes that I make sometimes is that, one, my ego gets involved too much. But then also, um, sometimes I lose track of focus of exactly, because I start to look at too many different things, right? Too many different things at once. Instead of just a simple pattern. And that's one thing that I really learned from my mentor. It's like, I really learned from my mentor how he, uh, how he trades so well is he's just looking for the same thing every single day. It's like nothing new, right? Because my mentor said to me, he said, John, the reason why I make, and by the way, my mentor is amazing. He's a private trader. Um, you know, he's made, put it this way, he's made more than a couple of, I think he's made more than $200,000 this week, this last seven days of trading. I think he's made more than $200,000. Like he's in a phenomenal, phenomenal. He's a private trader. Um, he used to teach, but he doesn't teach anymore. Uh, but I have access to it. It's just amazing. One of the things I learned from him was that, okay, we model success, right? So one of the things that I learned from him was, okay, I'm not doing well out of the markets because my approach is wrong. My approach is I'm just looking for anything that looks like I can make money, that I think is going to make money. Where my mentor said, John, I'm, I'm going to the market to look for my pattern. Because I know once my pattern sets up, once my setup sets up, the thing I'm looking for, then I'm likely to make money. And that's the reason why I do really well because, I'm, because I know the pattern is the thing that's gonna make me money. And if I can just stick to the pattern most of the time, right, we're not perfect, but most of the time, guess what? Then we start to go down this movement of starting to do really well. And he said, that's, and he said John, that's where it, like, it comes down to really, really, really simple analysis. And he said, John, just understanding the setup of itself and then go through thousands of examples of that setup to drill it into your brain, not only what it looks like, but to build confidence that this thing does work most of the time, right? We do have our losses and so on and so forth. And then all we have to do is once we've done that, once we know exactly what to look for, we have thousands of screenshots to back that up to help us build confidence within our trading and also to help our brain see it on the chart. Then we have to weave in the psychology part, right? Of being consistent every day, looking for the trades, being patient, not taking other trades when there is no trades for a while, right? And having the discipline part of process as well too, right? So you can see all these different things here, but these two ones here is the exact same thing, but flipped upside down. Um, this is a trade here that I took back in, what was that, 2020, like 2023? Uh, this one here. Uh, this one here, Siri. This one here was a beautiful, beautiful trade. This thing here, just amazing trade. But the same sort of setup. This one here, uh, again, just the chart thing through here. So basically, and this one here was an Australian stock trade, right? It happened, there was a trade down the bottom here. Uh, when I come down here. Again, I'm not gonna walk through the exact step-by-step because -step this video is getting too long here. Again, I can teach you that with all the links in the description there uh, from that through, through there. And then we also have uh, these processes through here. But I want my whole purpose behind this video for you guys is to try to give you a bit of a curtain behind the scenes of if you, to start to do really well from this thing called trading is that probably one, you're probably going down the rabbit hole with what I'm doing right now, right? Oh, sorry what I did do, which is what? Which is, I'm just, I've gone down this massive rabbit hole of just trying to learn about this thing. Like, what is this thing? And then we go down, we buy courses and education and, and we're trying to learn about everything, right? And then after we learn everything, then we start to realize that probably only maybe 10% of that stuff is the thing that's really gonna move the needle for us. And then we need to focus in on that 10%, right? And what is that 10%? As you can see from the charts that it doesn't require a lot of things on the chart to do really, really, really well, right? What do you see through here? This is a 24 moving average, which is my green moving average. 
These are one hour charts. If you like to trade the one hour charts or if you like to trade the daily charts, you know, some trades that I've taken just recently. This is the this is a CCL that I've taken recently. This is the GLD that I've taken recently. And what do you see through here, right? You just see the chart and one moving average. And it's a very, very, very high probability type of setup that, that I trade here. Um, but the whole thing about that is that once you start to realize exactly what the setup is, right? And then have the confidence with that. And again, that's the reason why guys like, coaching is such a big thing for you, right? Because and that's the reason why my coaching is I go through a whole 12 months worth of coaching with you. The reason why is because you're showing up every day with me in a really small group. I have 15, maybe 20 people every year join my inner circle group. Um, that's the reason why I keep it really, really small because you're with me every day and I'm like, I want to be able to personally coach you and help you through these markets every single day. And so you're with me every day for, a, for about an hour, hour and a half every single day. And the reason why is because one, I want to get you, I want to keep you on track. I want to get you educated. I want to go through the examples with you. I want to keep building that. And then I also want to help you through you know, you might fall off the bandwagon throughout the year, right? You might have mistakes and do some simple, simple, you might make mistakes or, you know, you might get my ego, you, know, you might be taking two or three trades and, you know, you might make, make some really good money. How do you keep that ego in check? But if you're having a low moment and so on and so forth, and that's exactly what my whole coaching program really, really is, right? Is the really, as, as, I, as you've seen here, it's really condensed the last 20 years of my... 20 years of my tra my trading career and really condense it down to the whole 12 months and try to iron out that thing of okay let's actually get focused here what exactly am I looking for let's have let's have a let's have a rock solid plan if I want to do really well and as you can see that even if you don't do my coaching for you to do for you to have a phenomenal 2025 what do you need to do you need to have a rock solid foundational plan what is what does that actually mean well firstly that if you you can either invest in good education like my, my, myself and get the shortcut or two you can figure it out yourself if you do figure it out yourself then all i say is you've got to find really one maybe two types of really good high quality simple setups that you know that work have hundreds of different screenshots um, that meet that trading setup right to build your confidence and then go to the markets waiting for that setup you're scanning the market every day to look for that setup and you might only have two trades a month if you trade the daily charts you might only have a couple of trades a month some months you might get three or four really good amazing trades right and then the, the, and then on top of that use really and then on top of all that use some simple analysis to help you um, let your profits run and cut your losses short and that's what i like to do right so foundation is exactly what am i looking for for a good setup and what's the entry point Let's actually take hundreds of screenshots of the exact same thing to build confidence. And then the advanced, and then the next level there is what do I use to maximize my profits? More like a trailing stop type thing. How do I do that to let my profits run, but then also cut my losses short as well too. And if you can do that, you're gonna have a phenomenal, phenomenal 2025.